Mr. Ponton, I believe you have a filter turned on yes, in I the video settings. Move it. I've got my assistant here. She's trying to, but I'm here live. I'm not, I'm not a cat. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I study, context collapse. And the idea that they're in a court of law and someone's got a filter of a cat is just genius. You couldn't write this stuff. What do you do? Do you stop and acknowledge? Do you pretend it's not happening? That's because we weren't used to our personal life and professional life having no division. Lawyer Cat is a perfect metaphor for the ongoing breakdown of the barrier between private and public life. As we invited each other into our homes and relied on digital tools and platforms to communicate through quarantine, people felt less pressure to project unrealistic images of their lives. They seem to now expect the same of their favorite creators and stars too. Some of the breakout channels so far in 2021 are conceptually grounded in the most ordinary bits of daily existence. Malad Merg narrated stories of his life while making sandwiches at his job. You get a lot of customers that are pretty friendly and pretty nice, and you get some pretty nice tips if I do say so myself. This dental student at the University of Illinois at Chicago gained over half a billion views in a single month with videos about one of the most mundane daily activities that I could possibly think of. In place of more formal entertainment, these creators and their formats represent a kind of extreme authenticity or, or radical relatability. It's the natural progression as YouTube's successful creators continue to optimize for connection with their audiences. Relatable formats have also helped rebrand chess. Comedian Sam Irena was a rising stand-up comedy star in India. When performing live was no longer possible, he started streaming games of chess. Getting your rook out in the starting of the game is a mistake. This mistake is also known as, and the answer is, rookie mistake. He's now part of a wave of comedians and creators that have helped casual chess content dramatically grow in popularity in India and beyond. One, two, three. <laughs> More than ever, relatability and relevance is derived from an ability to speak video, to cleverly employ the language of digital video. Its formats, tropes, aesthetics, is to more deeply connect with the audience by mirroring the way that they use these technologies every day. It's common for fan communities to create long loops of their favorite moments and memes. And so it actually made sense when Marvel released a one hour loop of this scene from Falcon and Winter Soldier in response to fan conversation. One hour dancing Zemo. It's got six million views. Yeah, this one hour, eight second clip of Daniel Brühl awkwardly dancing in a club has been watched over six million times. People are diving more and more into long content of things they love. So it's not just anything, as the famous uh, saying goes, there's no such thing as long copy, there's only boring copy. Part of what's kept singer and rapper Doja Cat on the cutting edge of pop culture relevance is that her art is often deeply interconnected with internet meme culture. Her song Streets became a surprise hit, the seventh single from her 2019 album, thanks to the fan-created Silhouette Challenge meme, which she referenced directly in the official video. Some of the most interesting pop culture is emerging from spaces where artists are tapping into the ways that their fans interact with music through memes and more. With so many of us making video ourselves, there are new opportunities to speak the same language in ways that make the audience feel closer and more connected to your art. Not surprisingly, some of the biggest breakout stars in modern entertainment are the ones who do it the most intuitively. Siren music is a genre that was popularly shared and consumed on YouTube in New Zealand. Josh685 put it on the global map when one of his YouTube tracks became the soundtrack to a meme and an eventual chart-topping collaboration with Jason Derulo. Olivia Rodrigo is totally fluent in video culture. Her song Driver's License was a huge hit, not just because it was so catchy, but also because it was so deeply relatable. The video literate audience grabbed hold of it, adapted it, remixed it, turned it into every possible kind of trend. Olivia, we turn left up here. Guess you didn't mean what you wrote in that song about me. You've likely all heard about Mr. Beast by now. I mean, he's got his own fast food chain. Put it on up. Yeah! yeah. I've never ran a restaurant before. He was also the top US creator on YouTube in 2020, a 
Across his channels, there are around 100 million subscribers, and earlier this year, his videos were watched over 1 billion times in just one month. Mr. Beast has originated some of the most ambitious projects in the creator space of the past year. Today, we will be planting 20 million trees. The extravagance of things like the world's largest mystery box or one million Christmas lights should make him less relatable, but his superpower is using an authentic approach to the process to do the opposite. Lil Nas X caught a lot of people by surprise when he released his single, Montero. That's right. Together, the video and the song represented his most extravagant and personal work yet. The official video has some moments that are pretty wild, but the whole thing was grounded in his own life experience, which he touchingly articulated in this letter that he wrote to his 14-year-old self. On YouTube, he appeared in what might be the most perfect reaction video. Wait a minute, wait a minute, Nas, wait a <gasps> No, 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 you can't end like this, no, no! Yes! And he dropped six different versions of it, of course, including a lo-fi beats version to study to. This is what it looks like when you have complete comfort and fluency in the culture and dialects of the web. It was a challenge for me uh, to, uh, because I never do like video like this. But the brief was so cool. Lil Nas, he showed himself as he is. I think it's kind of cool not to like hide yourself, you know, like he's opened himself to like everybody. Lil Nas is the broker of the internet. <laughs> he's not breaking the internet. <laughs> he is the broker of the internet. In a world where the barriers between public and private have been further stripped away, the winners right now are the ones whose relatability stems from that comfort and fluency.